Good morning, kids! Welcome to another day of our class. It is another day of fun and learning. I am Teacher Frel, your teacher in English 3, Quarter 4, Week 4. Milk Base Our lesson for today is about pictographs, simple graphs, and tables. So kids, are you ready to listen? Let's get started! At the end of this lesson, you are expected to Interpret pictographs, simple graphs, and tables Hello kids! Today, we are going to study about pictographs, simple graphs, and tables Tables and graphs are visual representations of data They are used to show the relationships of information they are used to compare two or more values in an organized way. Let us read the problem first, then study the given table. Trina's sister is a baker. She bakes different goodies and sells them to her friends and neighbors. On Mother's Day, she sold different flavors of crinkles. Here is an example of a table showing the data of the different flavors of crinkles and the number of boxes sold. The title of this table is about Crinkles Sold on Mother's Day. On the first column, you will see the flavors of crinkles. And on the second column, you will see the number of boxes sold. Chocolate crinkles sold 18 boxes. Yema Crinkle sold 13 boxes. Ube Crinkle sold 8 boxes. Red Velvet sold 15 boxes. And Buko Pandan sold 15 boxes. And now, answer the following questions. What is the title of the table? Very good! The title of the table is Crinkle Sold on Mother's Day. How many flavors of crinkles are presented? Very good! The answer is... There are five flavors of crinkles presented. And now, let's do task 1. Answer the questions based on the given table above. Write your answer in your notebook. Here are the questions. Number 1. Which flavor of crinkles has the most number of boxes sold? Study the table below. Very good! Chocolate flavor has the most number of boxes sold. Second question. Which flavors of crinkles have the same sales? Study the table below. Very good! The answer is... The flavors of crinkles that have the same sales were red velvet and buko pandan for they were both sold 15 boxes. Third question. How many boxes of yema crinkles were sold? Study the table below. Very good. The correct answer is there were 13 boxes of yema crinkles were sold. Fourth question. Which flavor of crinkles have the least sales? Study the table below. Very good! The correct answer is... Ube crinkles have the least number of sales of only 8 boxes. Fifth question. How many boxes of crinkles were sold on Mother's Day? Let's study the table. So, 18 plus 13 plus 8 plus 15 plus 15 is equals to 69. So, the answer is, there were 69 boxes of crinkles were sold on Mother's Day. Now, let's go to task 2. Study the graph then answer the questions. Box the letter of your answer. Let us read the problem first then study the graph. The PE teacher of Sampaguita Elementary School conducted a survey on the favorite sports of the grade 3 students. The teacher asked them to choose only one among the given sports, 
basketball, running, football, swimming, tennis. And now, here is an example of a graph showing the data of a survey on the favorite sports of the grade 3 students conducted by their PE teacher. The title of the graph is about Favorite Sports of Grade 3 Students. Under the graph are the kinds of sports. These are Basketball Running Football Tennis and swimming. On the left side of this graph are the numbers of students. There were 13 students who likes basketball, 5 students who likes running, 7 students who likes football, 8 students who likes tennis, and 7 students who likes swimming. And now, let's answer the following questions. Number 1. What is the title of the graph? A. Favorite sports of grade 3 students B. Number of students C. Kind of sports What is the correct answer? Study the graph below Very good! The correct answer is Letter A. Favorite sports of grade 3 students Number 2. Which is the most favorite sport of the grade 3 students? A. Swimming B. Basketball C. Tennis What is the correct answer? Very good! The correct answer is letter B. Basketball Number 3. Which is the least favorite sports of the grade 3 students? A. Running B. Football C. Tennis What is the correct answer? Very good! The correct answer is Letter A. Running Number 4. Which two sports have the same results? A. Basketball and swimming B. Running and tennis C. Football and swimming What is the correct answer? Correct! The answer is Letter C. Football and swimming Number 5. How many students were asked in the survey? A. 35 B. 37 C. 40 Let's study the graph. The number of students who likes basketball are 13. For running, there are 5 students. For football, there are 7 students. For tennis, there are 8 students. And for swimming, there are 7 students. 13 plus 5 plus 7 plus 8 plus 7 is equals to 40. So the correct answer is 40. Graphs and tables have a title that tells what the graph or the table is about. It has labels showing the contained data. And now, let's do task 3. Study the given pictograph then answer the questions. Write your answer in your notebook. Let us read the problem first, then study the pictograph. Ramirez family donated face masks to their neighboring barangays as part of their advocacy to prevent the spread of virus. And now, here is an example of a pictograph showing the data of the donated face masks of Ramirez family to their neighboring barangays. So the legend or the key is... One box of face mask is equivalent to 10 boxes of face mask. The title of this is about donated face mask of Ramirez family. On the left side, you will see the names of barangays. Below, you will see the number of face masks received. So the first barangay receives 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So there are 5 picture of boxes times 10 is equals to 50 boxes. So, Barangay Masagana received 50 boxes of face masks. Next is Barangay Pag-asa. Barangay Pag-asa received 40 boxes of face masks. Next Barangay is Barangay Masikap. Barangay Masikap received 60 boxes of face masks. 
Next barangay is Barangay Matulungin. Barangay Matulungin receive 50 boxes of face masks. And the last barangay, Barangay Payapa receives 70 boxes of face masks. And now, let's answer the following questions. Number 1. What is the title of the pictograph? Study the pictograph below. Correct! The title of the pictograph is Donated Face Mask of Ramirez Family. Number 2. How many barangays receive donations of face masks? Study the pictograph below. Very good! The answer is... There were 5 barangays received donations of face masks. Number 3. How many boxes of face masks did Barangay Pag-asa receive? Study the pictograph below. Correct! The answer is... Barangay Pag-asa received 40 boxes of face masks. Number 4. Which barangay has the highest number of face masks received? Study the pictograph below. Correct! The answer is... Barangay Payapa received 70 boxes of face masks and it was the highest number of face masks received. And for number 5, how many boxes of face masks did Ramirez family donate in all? Let's study the pictograph. Barangay Masagana received 50 boxes. Barangay Pag-asa received 40 boxes. Barangay Masikap received 60 boxes. Barangay Matulungin received 50 boxes. And Barangay Payapa received 70 boxes. For the total of 270 boxes. So the correct answer is, they were donated 270 boxes of face masks in all. Pictograph is a type of graph which uses different pictures in presenting data. It uses symbols or pictures that represents a given number of object. It uses a key to show what or how much each picture represents. And now for task 4, study the given pictograph then answer the questions. Write your answer in your notebook. Let us read the problem first, then study the pictograph. Sita saves money of her daily allowance to buy a gift for her parents' anniversary. She keeps saving every week for six weeks. And now, here is an example of a pictograph showing of her weekly savings. So the key or the picture is 100 pesos. The title of this pictograph is about Sita's weekly savings. On the left side are the number of weeks. Below are the weekly savings of Sita. In week 1, Sita saves 1, 2, 200 pesos. In week 2, Sita saves 1, 2, 3, 300 pesos. In week 3, Sita saves 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 500 pesos. In week 4, Sita saves 1, 2, 3, 300 pesos. In week 5, Sita saves 1, 2, 3, 4, 400 pesos. And in week 6, Sita saves 1, 100 pesos. And now, let's answer the following question. Number 1, what is the title of the pictograph? Study the pictograph below. Very good! The title of the pictograph is Sita's Weekly Savings. Number 2. How much did she save in week 3? Study the pictograph below. Very good! The answer is she saves 500 pesos in week 3. Number 3. Which weeks did Sita save the same amount of money? Study the pictograph below. Correct! The answer is... Sita saved the same amount of money of 300 pesos in week 2 and week 4. 
Number 4. Which weeks did she save the highest amount? Study the pictograph below. Very good! The answer is, she saved the highest amount in week 3 for 500 pesos. Number 5. How much is her total savings for 6 weeks? Study the pictograph below. Correct! The answer is, Sita saved 1,800 for 6 weeks. For task 5, Study the given table and make a pictograph of the given data. Write your answer in your notebook. The farmers of Fernando Farm harvested rice for 3 days. Let's study the data. The title is about sacks of rice harvested in 3 days. In the first column are the number of days. In the second column are the number of sacks harvested. So day 1, they harvest 150 sacks of rice. On day 2, they harvest 130 sacks of rice. And on day 3, they harvest 120 sacks of rice. So the key is, one sack is equivalent to 10 sacks. And now kids, you are going to make your own pictograph based on the given data above. So are you done kids? So I'm going to show you my example. The title of the pictograph is about Fernando Farms Harvest of Rice in 3 Days. On the left side are the number of days. Below are the number of sacks of rice harvested. Monday, they harvested 150 sacks of rice. Tuesday, they harvested 130 sacks of rice. And Wednesday, they harvested 120 sacks of rice. And for the last task, task 6, complete the paragraph by selecting the appropriate answers from the given choices. Write your answer in your notebook. The choices are Label, Title, Pictograph, Key, Data. Let's start! Tables and graphs are visual representation of data that shows the relationships of information. They have title that tells what the graph or table is about. It has a label that shows the kind of data presented. Pictograph is a type of graph that uses symbols or pictures in presenting data. It has a key that shows how much its symbols stands for. Kids, are your all answers correct? Wow! Very good, kids! So kids, have you learned a lot from this lesson? Very good! So again, the topic that we have discussed today is about pictographs, simple graphs, and tables. Kids, I hope you enjoy our lessons today. Until our next topic, bye-bye kids!